If you had to ask someone what their most used Linux terminal command is, they'd probably tell you that it's CD. Now, that is probably pretty obvious because CD is one of the key cornerstones of Linux terminals. You have to use it in order to move from one directory to another. You can't go from one directory to another very easily without using CD. And even if you do nothing else in the terminal, chances are you've probably used CD before. Now, CD is great. It does what it's supposed to do. It moves you from one directory to another, or it moves you to your home directory. That's basically what it does. Now, you can extend that functionality with functions and aliases if you want, but out of the box, it just does what it needs to do. So, I've never actually looked into doing more with it, because, like I said, it does what it needs to do. But, someone out there decided that CD just wasn't good enough. And once you try what I'm going to talk about today, you'll probably agree. So we're going to be talking about a new terminal application called Zoxite. Now, I don't know actually if it's new. It may have been around for a while. I just discovered it, so it's new to me. So it's called Zoxide, Z-O-X-I-D. And I'll actually show you the GitHub page right here. And basically... What Zoxide does is it replaces CD with a smarter function. And it does a lot of really cool things. Now, first off, to install this, it's really easy. For OpenSUSE, it was in the repositories. I'm assuming, therefore, that it's in most repositories. If not, you can easily build it from source. But other than that, let me show you what it does. So let me take you to a terminal here. We'll open up a terminal. And let's just say I wanted to go to my documents folder. So I, in normal days, I'd use CD and then I'd spell things correctly, documents, right? Like so. And it'd take me to my documents folder. And if I wanted to go home, I'd just do CD and go home. That's what I'd do. Now, there's nothing really all that special to it. Everybody does that probably 100 times every time they open up a terminal. That's what they do, right? But with Zoxide, which is alias to the letter Z, you can go to anywhere you've already been. So if I want to go to documents here, I just go to documents like so, and it'd take me to my documents folder. Now that's not, again, all that impressive. It's just taking me to my documents folder. But let's just say I want to go to my configuration folder from here, my, my dot config. Now I'm in, if I put my working directory here, I'm, ignore those errors. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, I'm in Matt M home documents. I'm nowhere near my .config folder. If I wanted to use CD to do this, I'd either have to go CD home or CD dot dot slash dot dot slash dot config. You know, that's just messy, right? So it's either two or one really long com commands. For Zoxide, I just do zoc z config and it takes me to my .config folder. That's what it does. So if I wanted to go to my documentation folder now, so my documentation folder is in something like slash home slash m home slash next cloud you get the idea right it's, it's it's a ways away from here but because i've been there before and that's a key point of this and i'll talk more about that here in a minute i can do something like this and it should take me to my documentation and it does so if i pick, print the working directory here like so you can see that i went from dot config to m home next cloud notes documentation that's what it does. Zoxide basically will create a database of places that you've been while using Zoxide. It'll store them in that database, every place that you've been, and then you can use Zoxide to move to those places without having to be in a relative place around those or type in the absolute path. So again, another example, if I wanted to go to my i3 config, like so, I could do Z, i3 and like i said i'm not in my configuration folder or anywhere like that I, I can just do this and it takes me to my i3 it, in this case it took me to my i3 ricer that's not where it's supposed to take me but it, you can see a problem here right because it, will, it i have two things that are named i3 it's going to take me to the one that i went to last so let's say i wanted to go to my actual i3 configuration folder instead of having going to my i3 ricer script directory i do z i3 and then space tab and it will show me the options that i can have so this is using fzf so fzf is a doc is a, a dependency and i can just use the arrow key to go to actually where i want to go and it will do that right now that's not as clean as if it takes you there automatically but when you have 
directories that are named something similar and it doesn't take you to the right one, you can at least do something like that in order to get to where you really need to go. Now you can also do things like Z. So my previous directory was documentation. I'm now in my i3 config folder. So if I do Z and then dash, it'll actually take me back to my documentation folder. If I just type in Z, it'll take me home. Now, one thing you'll have to know, and what, we'll what I talked about earlier, is that Z doesn't work really all that well when it hasn't been anywhere. It needs to gather that data or collect that database of places you've been in order for it to work really well. So the more places you go with Zoxide, the more useful it's going to be. But Z does work or Zoxide does work just like the regular CD command. So if I'm in my home director here, I can say Z into Nextcloud and I've never actually been to my regular Nextcloud folder. It would learn that and then, and then I could go to Z config again and then Z Nextcloud like so and it will take me there. Now, another really cool thing about this is that you don't have to spell things exactly correct in order for this to work. Now, it does have to be similar, but it doesn't have to be exactly. So if I go back to my config files, if I so just, for example, I go to Z con, I, that will take me to configuration. I didn't have to spell the whole thing. If I go to Z, uh, Z next, like so, it'll take me to my next cloud, right? And if I want to go to documents, you can see I didn't capitalize anything there. I just went to documents. Now, I always type documents out because I also have Z documentation. Like, so if I do, again, docu like that, it'll actually take me to my documentation directory or my re repository for my documentation. So as you can see, in addition to being able to take you anywhere in your file structure once you've gone there or just replacing CD like normal, it will also allow you to not have to be fiddly about case sensitive directories like you do with regular CD. So if I'm in my regular home directory, like so, and I want to use CD to go to documents and I do documents like so, it's not gonna go anywhere because there's no such directory called documents spelled that way. I have to use the case sensitive way it's spelled, right? So documents with a capital D. I can go to documents like this with Zoxide if I can spell things right, and it will take me there like that. And I don't know why my terminal has been doing that lately. I don't get it. It's the, it's like some keys randomly being pressed down, and I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to fix that because that's weird. But anyways, you can see the benefits of this, right? And there's quite a few bit more that you can do. I will leave a link to that GitHub repository uh, in the video description if you want to have access to this. But you can also hit, hit into the man page. There's quite a few man pages for this. So the main one is Manzoxide, and it will show you exactly what it need, what it can do. So it can CD into the highest ranked directory, for, you know, called foo. And you can actually use things like the dot dot and the dash and stuff to go back to either one level up or the previous directory like I showed you. You can even use ZI if you have multiple directories named similar things like you would with a space tab. But this would be on purpose, like if you knew you had to do it, right? You could use ZI and then the name what you're searching for and it would use FCF to search through a whole bunch of things named foo or whatever it is that you need to search for. So you can also do things like add things to a da your database manually if you wanted to do that. I just go to where I need to go in order to add the, to the database. It does that automatically for me, so I don't have to use Zoxide-add to do it. You can import from other applications things into your directory. I'm not sure how that would work. Maybe it will allow you to import from your bash history. Perhaps that's the way you could do that. I'm not sure if that works. I've never used it, so it's possible. Uh, the Zoxide init is for creating your initial database. And then you can also search through your database with Zoxide query, and you can remove parts of your database with Zoxide remove. So it allows you to have full control of what's there. Obviously, this is 100% local. It's not going to use some weird AI or whatever. This is all a function on your computer or a program on your computer, and it stores the database locally. So in terms of privacy, I don't have any problems with it. I love this thing. I think it is so good. It's completely replaced CD for me. I have alias CD2Z because that way if I were to accidentally use CD, it's actually using Z in the background, right? So I can do that and my muscle memory of using CD isn't going to prevent me from having all these cool features. So this, like I said, has been 
and an amazing find for me. It's just completely changed the way that I move around in the terminal. It's so cool. It, and I, I know, I mean, as a writer, I shouldn't be so upset about having to capitalize the D in documents. I really shouldn't. But one of the features that I missed most about ZSH when I switched back to Bash was ZSH's ability to autocomplete when you don't properly spell something out, right? And not necessarily misspell, but like miss a capitalization somewhere or not fully spell something out, right? ZSH can do that for you. Bash, while it can technically do it for you, you got to, you know, really work for adding that feature. It doesn't do it by default. By adding in Zoxide, this has allowed me to do that. So that's changed the game. Add in that I can now go to whatever directory I want on my computer from whatever directory I want without having to, you know, take a circuitous route in order to get there. That's game changing. It saves so much time and it just makes me want to use the terminal more. And that's just cool. So if you have thoughts on Zoxide, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Just like all of these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me over on Patreon, YouTube, and Kofi. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. If you too would like to support me on those places, all those links will be in the video description, or you can head on over to the shop, which is available at shop.thelinkscast.org. There you'll find all sorts of awesome merch. All the proceeds for that go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. So thank you so very much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.